Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and uh, it feels like we're on a bit of a roll at the moment. We've had some really high-end bespoke custom instruments come through like the Canaleo Platinum last week that you would have seen on the channel. And uh, as things are turning again and the world is beginning to produce these instruments, we received something last week that we really didn't think we would ever see again in any form and it's felt like an occasion over the years any time that we've had them. Uh, this particular delivery of uh, masterpiece ukuleles I'm going to show you are uh, quite unique in that they are a kind of side brand of a very well known brand which is Koaloha. Uh, today we're going to look at Uke SA and we're going to look at the masterpiece collection of Pineapple Sunday ukuleles and Scepter ukuleles produced by Pops Akami, Alvin Akami, the original uh, creator and brand owner of Koaloha. Alvin Okami started Koaloha in the early 1990s. He had been looking at a new venture that took him away from the plastics industry and something that would um, appeal to tourists as Japanese tourists would visit Hawaii every year, purchase a ukulele or some kind of uh, memento of their journey. And it came to him after a conversation with his friend Herb Ota that perhaps miniature ukuleles would be something that people would be interested in, particularly as the Japanese are a, a nation that really value uh, crafted pieces and that's exactly what happened after a very fortuitous story that I'm going to show you some clips of in a moment uh, Pops got some watchmaking tools and produced miniature ukuleles like this this is uh, something that was provided to us by Pops as a, as a kind of thank you for this order but these instruments were made uh, through the early 1990s and could be found in uh, kind of gift shops at kind of a premium price made by uh, Pops Akami himself and from there the Koaloha brand was born the, the KSM double O, the, the soprano, the concert, the tenors that we know and love today and eventually the company itself would be, uh, become uh, taken over more by uh, Paul and Alan Akami, uh, Pops' sons and the brand is one of the premier ukulele brands uh, in the world as a, of time of recording in 2021 and have been for over 25 years. Um, these miniature ukuleles as a starting point are fantastic when you consider that Pops's ukulele making skills would eventually lead to something like this. So you have that miniature scepter there behind the glass and then you have this here. So we're going to talk about the scepters first today. The scepter ukulele came to Pops in a dream in the mid 2000s. He decided to prototype this ukulele and produce an instrument that had the five point koaloha crown on the body to mirror the headstock. Now you'll notice this isn't a koaloha. I'm gonna talk a lot about the brand koaloha, but today we're looking at Uke SA, which is Pops' own brand. Now he has retired from active, uh, active duty at koaloha. These are the things he makes at home and they are his, his legacy, what he leaves behind, among many, many other things. So the scepter, as well as being the best defensive weapon in the ukulele uh, arsenal as a time of filming, uh, this ukulele sounds absolutely gorgeous. Something about this body design is slightly streamlined compared to a normal tenor. Everything is very direct and they are bright, but they are full and they've been made in very, very small batches so the scepters were actually concepted in, I think, 2007. There were several prototypes made that Pops uh, sold off in 2018 when uh, Koaloha moved factory. And they did produce a limited number of this model known as the KCS-07 in 2010 to 2013. But since then, there's not really been any made. They've been something that were always we always requested from Koaloha, but they didn't ever ever manage to produce them on a factory level. They were always Pops' baby and Pops' baby alone. So these particular masterpiece ukuleles have, I would say, things we do need to talk about. They are master grade Koa. They all look completely different, as you'll see when we do our sound samples. And not only is the wood exquisite, but the small touches like these block Koa inlays on the fingerboard all the way up. You have the Uke SA Pops' custom logo on the headstock with a maple uh, inlay uh, faceplate, I should say. And then you have Goto planetary tuners. 
As with all Koaloha ukuleles, the Uke SAs have a 37mm nut width with slightly recessed fret edges. So the fingerboard is wider than the string spacing. The string spacing is more that of a 35mm ukulele. And you have an ebony bridge which also mirrors the scepter. I think it's a th I'm not looking at it, but it should be a five point crown on the bridge there. Yes, I'm right. Five point crown with a koa inlay there over the bridge plate itself. We are going to look at all of these individually, but I do recommend looking at the listings uh, detailed in the description of this video because each of these ukuleles have their own quirks and uh, foibles that do need to be uh, kind of discussed and noticed before you decide to become a scepter owner and player. Um, and no, there's no disclaimer that you might accidentally like stab yourself in the arm with it. But the ukulele itself was not produced in Koaloha's factory. These ukuleles were produced by Pops at home in his home workshop. And we have found kind of small dings around the body that were present on arrival and would have happened during the manufacturing process. Uh, also, there is one of them that we have converted to left-handed because the string spacing is just a fraction out. It can still be purchased as a right-hander. I'll talk about that one later in the video though. For now, I'm gonna give this scepter a play and I'm gonna go through the various ones arrived on this delivery and see what you think.
And then finally, we also have a spruce top tenner with the cover back and sides. The rest of the spec is the same. Okay, next up today we're going to look at one of Pops' other wacky inventions from over the years. This is the Uk SA Pineapple Sunday. Now the Pineapple Sunday design uh, has been around a bit longer than the Scepter before it. Pops created the Pineapple Sunday as Koalo has answer to a pineapple ukulele. They do make conventional pineapple ukuleles as well to this day, but the Pineapple Sunday has its own quirk to it. The body is a concert body with an elongated top bow that has the shape of a pineapple to even simulate the top of a pineapple. We were just debating before I pressed record what the name of that would be without Googling it. And we've decided to call it the crown of a pineapple. So you have those slightly sharper edges on the top bout there and you have these blind embossed uh, textural uh, divots in the ukulele itself to simulate the outside of a pineapple. You still have the uh, ebony fingerboard and bridge there with the koa inlays going up the fingerboard and Pops it, uh, Pops's UKSA headstock logo there with a maple faceplate. You have the uh, planetary tuners and the neck is mahogany with the 37mm nut width and rounded fret edges to simulate that of a 35mm string spacing. They finally will have a look at the crown bridge once again as with the scepter ukuleles. And these ukuleles are available in the Koa, uh, custom made by Pops himself, and also a more affordable uh, Thailand made version, which is made by the same people who make the OPOs and Rebel ukuleles. So we have uh, the, the final ukulele you're gonna hear today is called the Thai Pie, which is the pineapple Sunday Thai made model equivalent of this, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. But for now, let's hear the pineapple Sunday and see what you think. Okay, and next up today, we're gonna to look at the Thailand made uh, equivalent of the Pineapple Sunday. Still a UKSA model. This is the Thai Pie, which it's exactly what it is. It's the Thailand Pineapple Sunday. This Thai Pie has all of the same features as the Pineapple Sunday, but in a solid acacia form. This one in particular is extremely light wood, but with really lovely grain, and you still have that blind embossing on the top itself to create the pineapple and you have what we're now calling the crown of the pineapple here with a traditional sound hole ebony fingerboard and bridge with some more subtle inlays there more like the traditional ones i think on earlier pineapple sundays but you still have the pineapple headstock inlay and the five crown slightly more um, aggressive looking uh, headstock there these are actually sharp points i hurt myself on one of these a minute ago as a nice final touch on these you have closed back tuners much like the koaloa opios with pineapple logos on uh, 
and these retain that 37 mil nut width with the recessed fret edges and slightly narrower string spacing. Uh, the Type I is a fantastic alternative if you can't afford something made by Pops himself. This gives all of the flavour and vibe that Pops wanted for the Pineapple Sundays. I'm going to give it a sound sample. Before we close out today's video, please do stick around because uh, at the end I'm going to show you some clips from a ukulele documentary produced about Koaloa in 2008 that details Pops showing off these ukes himself. And you can see firsthand just how passionate the man is and how much you can give these ukuleles without them over compressing and distorting. Uh, for now though, this is the Type I. Let's give it a play and see what you think. You know, what I found with both of the Pineapple Sundays is that they have, they're just completely balanced. They're completely flat. There's no, uh, there's not too much bass. There's not too much treble, not too much mid. They are, audibly, they sound like they've been, they sound like they've been through like a mastering process. <laughs> Okay, and there we have it folks. We've looked at Uke SA Ukuleles, the masterpiece collection from Alvin Okami, uh, the original gangster, original owner of Koalaha Ukuleles. Uh, and it all started with these miniature Ukes, which actually work. I know. Which was your favorite today, the Scepter or the Pineapple Sunday? Do let us know in the comments section. And if you have any questions, you can give me a call in store on 01202 430820, or you can email us at alex at ukulele.co.uk. I can't do it, but I really, really want to be able to. Anyway, look, this is the uh, the miniature. Unfortunately, not for sale, but the pineapple Sundays are, so you can have one of your own. In the meantime, I'm Alex. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon.